In just three short days, the universe staged a show so improbable it felt scripted. Two ancient stars suddenly flared bright enough to be seen without a telescope. The ground in Venezuela split apart under not one, but two massive earthquakes. And far above, a violent burst from the sun slammed into one of the rarest travelers in the cosmos, an interstellar comet. Astronomers now call this bizarre overlap of events the 72-hour stack, a window of time where nature seemed to throw every card on the table at once. Scientists still debate whether this was a statistical fluke or a deeper cosmic pattern we don't yet understand. But make no mistake, what happened in that three-day period has already entered the record books as one of the strangest alignments ever witnessed. On paper, none of this should have happened together. Naked eye novas, stars exploding into sudden brilliance, appear maybe once a year and sometimes not at all. Yet in less than 48 hours, two separate novas burst into view, dazzling even casual stargazers. Meanwhile, Venezuela was struck by not just one, but two magnitude six earthquakes within hours of each other, along with a powerful aftershock that rattled already damaged communities. Normally, quakes of that size hit the region every two to three years, not twice in one night. And as if that wasn't enough, the sun unleashed a coronal mass ejection, a storm of charged particles so massive it can disrupt satellites and power grids. But this wasn't just any CME. Its trajectory intersected with three I slash ATLAS, only the third confirmed interstellar object ever seen in our skies. Out of countless possible directions, this blast struck a target rarer than rare, leaving scientists stunned, added up, and the odds of these events stacking in a single 72-hour window plummet below one in a thousand, maybe lower. Statisticians call this phenomenon Poisson clustering, when randomness bunches together in ways that defy our sense of probability. But even then, this hand of cards from the cosmos feels almost impossible. Let's rewind to the beginning. The cosmic drama started just after midnight UTC on September 23rd. At 2.12 a.m., telescopes in Chile and South Africa picked up something extraordinary. The faint star Phi, 1935 Centauri, suddenly flared to life, bright enough to be spotted by the naked eye under dark skies. A white dwarf had stolen enough hydrogen from its companion star to ignite a runaway fusion reaction what astronomers call a nova. In a matter of hours, its brightness surged by a factor of 100,000. By dawn in Europe, news of the outburst had already raced across international networks. Backyard stargazers scrambled outside, some still in pajamas, pointing at a star that hadn't been visible the night before. But the universe wasn't finished. On the evening of September 24th, at exactly 10.21 p.m., local Venezuelan time, seismographs across the Caribbean spiked. A magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck near Men Grande, Venezuela. The rupture was shallow, just 7.8 kilometers beneath the surface, making its shaking even more intense for people above. Families finishing dinner suddenly ran into the streets, phones buzzing with emergency alerts. Before recovery crews could even respond, disaster struck again. Less than six hours later, another earthquake a magnitude 6.3, this time deeper, rocked the same region. Windows shattered, aftershocks rippled through the night, and frightened residents huddled in makeshift shelters. Hospitals documented the chaos in real time, with WhatsApp messages and social media posts providing a second-by-second -second record of fear. And yet, at that exact moment, another astronomical alert lit up global networks. At 4.05 a.m. UTC on September 25th, the star V7994 Sagittarii erupted into brilliance, reaching a brightness of magnitude 6.2. 
two naked eye novas within 36 hours, something astronomers hadn't seen in living memory. Meanwhile, the sun's storm front was still building. Solar physicists had been tracking a CME launch the day before, but models now showed its path crossing directly with three I slash ATLAS, the interstellar comet barreling into the inner solar system. To put this into perspective, Earth has observed millions of comets, but only three interstellar visitors, objects that come from outside our solar system. And one of them just happened to be in the crosshairs of a solar blast. When events like this collide, scientists see more than coincidence. Each nova offers rare insight into stellar death. Each quake helps map the shifting plates beneath Venezuela, and the comet's interaction with solar plasma could reveal secrets about matter born in another star system. But beyond the science, it's the sheer improbability that grabs attention. Even researchers hardened by decades of data admitted this event stack was unlike anything they'd seen. The phrase itself, 72-hour stack, is already becoming shorthand in astronomy and geophysics circles, a symbol of when the universe briefly bent the rules. The numbers don't lie. This was a statistical outlier of the highest order. That's what makes it so hard to ignore and so tempting to map out minute by minute to see just how tightly these odds-defying events really fit together. The timeline begins in the chill of Chile's pre-dawn, runs through Venezuela's earthquake-rattled evenings, and stretches into the silent halls of solar observatories, watching streams of plasma race toward an interstellar comet. Every timestamp anchors the memory of an extraordinary 72-hour window when the cosmos reminded us that the improbable is sometimes inevitable. She spent the night glued to her screen, running remote telescope sessions, chasing faint signals through patches of clouds and fighting power outages. Sleep had become a luxury, but determination kept her awake. In the back of her mind, rumors were spreading through online channels, whispers of a possible Nova. But Gabriela Moya wasn't ready to move on rumors. She waited, she double-checked, and when her report finally reached the Central Bureau for Astronomical Telegrams at 2.12 UTC, she had barely rested in two days. That single alert sparked a chain reaction. Automated systems across the Southern Hemisphere confirmed the outburst. And within minutes, the NOVA's coordinates were flashing across global networks. A NOVA is more than just a sudden star brightening. It's stellar violence written across the sky. On a white dwarf, hydrogen from a companion star builds up layer by layer, pressed by gravity, until it ignites in runaway fusion. In seconds, the star erupts, blasting matter into space at thousands of kilometers per second. That shock front heats the expelled gas, lighting it up in visible wavelengths and bathing space in gamma rays and X-rays. With V1935 Centauri, detectors in orbit recorded clear high-energy signatures exactly as the optical light reached its peak. It was proof that particles were being hurled to near-light speed and that dust might even be condensing in the wreckage of the blast. Less than two days later, another star followed suit, this time in Sagittarius. The white dwarf Vi-7994 exploded into brightness, reaching magnitude 6.2, barely visible without aid, but enough to spark fierce competition among astronomers. Survey teams raced to claim discovery, with telescope logs, preprints, and social media all buzzing at once. High-energy satellites like Fermi and Swift confirmed the outburst within moments, logging sharp bursts of gamma and X-rays. Inside NASA and other teams, internal debates delayed the public release as researchers ruled out false triggers. But when the data was cleared, the evidence was overwhelming. 
two novas in just over 48 hours, each with powerful shock signatures pointing to violent thermonuclear runaway. Meanwhile, the Earth was shaking. Just after sunset in Mene Grande, Venezuela, a magnitude 6.2 earthquake tore through the region. Its shallow depth of 7.8 kilometers meant the rupture reached the surface quickly, toppling walls and cutting power. At the local hospital, already short on supplies, nurses and doctors rushed outside to set up makeshift triage areas. Senior nurse Maricela Rivas, who had just ended her shift, found herself leading the chaos, organizing patients on color-coded tarps in the parking lot. Her voice carried steady over WhatsApp groups Groups, relaying urgent needs while volunteers hauled water and cleared debris. But the night wasn't finished. Five hours later, at nearly the same location, the earth shifted again. A magnitude 6.3 quake struck deeper, around 14 kilometers, jolting the same communities before dawn. Aftershocks followed, one reaching magnitude 5.8, forcing evacuations again and again. Seismologists working overnight mapped the stress transfer along the Oka Anon fault zone. The sequence matched known patterns, one segment slipping, loading the next, a textbook cascade. But for the people living it, the science was overshadowed by fear and exhaustion. Inside the hospital, power flickered, operating tables were scarce, and staff rotated patients outside as aftershocks hit. Flashlights guided IV lines in the dark, while local radio spread real-time updates. The hospital had become the heartbeat of the community, improvising care under pressure. Above it all, the sun was restless. Solar maximum had been building, with sunspot counts climbing above 160 and radio flux holding high. Under such conditions, coronal mass ejections erupt almost weekly, huge storms of plasma sweeping through the inner solar system. But this time, the timing was uncanny. On its unusual retrograde orbit, the interstellar comet 3I-Atlas was racing into the solar system at more than 60 kilometers per second. Out of all possible alignments, a CME swept directly across its path. 3i slash Atlas is not like the icy wanderers we're used to seeing from the Oort cloud or Kuiper belt. It came from another star system, carrying material older than our own sun. On October 3rd, it will pass within 0.19 astronomical units of Mars, a flyby so close that orbiter teams are preparing to capture data if possible. Its timing is extraordinary. As it passes through the stormy solar wind of cycle 25, scientists can watch in real time how alien material interacts with our star's most extreme outbursts. Geophysicist Stefan Burns called it a once-in-a-generation experiment, a chance to see an interstellar object under conditions we may not witness again. For planetary scientists, every observation is precious, from tail distortions to plasma interactions, each one unlocking secrets of a visitor from beyond. And the show doesn't stop with Atlas. October 20th and 21st bring Comet Swan C 2025 R2, sweeping within 0.26 astronomical units of Earth, about 39 million kilometers away. With a new moon and the Orionid meteor shower at its peak, sky watchers will have the perfect window. Out under dark skies after midnight, binoculars and patience will be enough to catch its faint tail. Then, on October 29th, 3i slash Atlas makes its closest approach to the sun, perihelion, at about 1.36 astronomical units. It won't blaze across the daytime sky, but seasoned observers may attempt twilight glimpses. Safety is everything here. No unfiltered optics, no careless glances near the sun. 
The risk of permanent damage is real, and every responsible observer knows that protecting vision is more important than chasing a photo. The final act comes on December 19th when Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth, about 1.8 astronomical units away. For amateur astronomers, this is the golden moment. Its activity may intensify after perihelion, making it ideal for imaging campaigns and community science. Platforms like AAVSO and the Comet Observation Database are already calling for reports, magnitude estimates, sketches, time-lapse sequences. Each observation helps scientists refine their models and track unexpected events like tail disconnections or sudden brightening. As the weeks unfold, October and December promise nights of wonder and discovery. For some, it will be an adventure of binoculars and stargazing apps. For others, a chance to contribute real data to global networks. But for everyone, it is a reminder that nature still holds surprises. And sometimes those surprises come in clusters so improbable they feel like fate. In just 72 hours back Back in late September, the world saw two novas, twin Venezuelan earthquakes, and a solar eruption intersecting the path of an interstellar comet. Statistically, it was an event stack so rare it almost shouldn't exist, less than a tenth of a percent by the best estimates. And yet it happened, leaving us with the question, are these coincidences or are we glimpsing a larger pattern? The record stands. Sometimes the universe doesn't just bend the odds, it rewrites them. 